morning sunshine. <laughs> morning, Mr. Dexter. Morning to you. Well, well, well. Where's my boy? Where is my boy, you son of a bitch? <laughs> okay. Wanna play tough? You got it, asshole. See that little girl over there everybody's so fond of? My scientists tell me that this is what revs her up. Look at her now. Weak as a little kitten. Ow! Mr. Dexter, fuck off! Fuck! What the fuck kind of place you running here, Clive? What the hell, that ain't mine. Jesus Christ, you... That's Mrs. Cooper. Sick fuck! You killed my boy, didn't you? Look, man, just tell him what he wants to know. Accidents happen in this jail all the time. Hey, Mr. Dexter, come on. You go on about your business. I'll take care of this guy. Let's go. I want my boy back, Clive. I ain't let you down yet, have I? Now go on. Yeah, it's gonna be you and me now. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hitman Absolution. This mission is Operation Sledgehammer, and as per usual, we are playing on Purist. So really, the only thing you can do at this point is exactly what I just did. You can chill by the door if you want to actually take the guy out, but I'm going to leave him alone. So he's going to come in here. He's going to see me. He's going to think I'm tied down still, so he's going to go fix the fire alarm. God when he turns it. his back to fix the fire alarm, typical. I'm just gonna walk just out. I'm on it. As long as you keep moving, you'll never see him again. There's a power cord up here on the desk that you can yeah, yeah, pick up to use I I was just a as a garret. Very happy. Had a and then uh, you want to right. wait for this guy to sneak by anyway, I left the or to turn his back so you can sneak desk. by oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go now um Actually, yeah. you are injured from the cutscene so grab the first aid and then hop in here I like that actually like that there's no checkpoints on uh, purist I mean yeah if you mess up whatever you gotta do the whole thing over again but just taking the extra time to try and hunt those down is really not worth it so we gotta wait for this guy to turn his back, and then uh, we're gonna sneak up behind him, take him out, subdue him, not kill him. Go to sleep. Stash him in this cabinet over here, pick up this gun around the corner. I know where the evidence is here, but I will not go for it suit only. It is asking to be spotted. There's actually a few missions where I feel that way. Silver ballers are right here in this room. You just got to make sure that uh, this guy's back's turned. And you have to hold, hold straight one as soon as you pick it up. Or else the uh, guy behind talking on the other side of the counter will spot you. Let him know we're serious. Ow! Oh, don't shoot me! I'm the sheriff! Christ, what a dipshit.
So the evidence in that previous area is to the right of the exit on a desk next to a cop. That's why I didn't bother getting it. This part can really, really suck. Going suit only, but it is not impossible. You just you have to be very careful. Yes, sir. We'll do. This guy's gonna come back here and get this. We're gonna sneak past him, and then we have to be mindful of where this other guy is. He's his back's still turned, so we're just gonna go for this ladder. This is the uh, same, essentially the same route I took. I'm professional. To hit the checkpoint. Um, so it just takes a little bit of extra juggling a little bit further up. It's the only difference between it on purist versus professional. I'm going to sneak up behind this guy up here. Normally, what I would do on a lower difficulty. Is I'd sneak up behind this guy standing next to the car, I'd wait for the guy walking up the street to turn his back, I'd chuck a bottle at the wall and sneak past. Only problem is now he'll get spotted easier because there's more people. So you have to chuck two distractions and you have to change cover here. And you can't hang back here like you normally would. You, you've got to get at least this far or you'll be spotted. Now you just head on up to the exit to the next level. Booyah. Suit only, baby. The next part is a little rough, suit only. But, again, not impossible. It's all about time. I can't get enough of this game. Like... I'm completely done with it. I have other games that I started playing before it that I need to get achievements for still, but I just, I've been so into Hitman ever since it came out that, like, I'll put countless hours into each one, and so there's still things I'm trying to do on this just because I want to do them. So, <laughs> all the other games that are sitting there waiting for me to get their achievements, so uh, they're going to be waiting there for a little while. I actually tried to go back to playing Borderlands 2 today, and I got some of those achievements, and like I played it for about 10-15 minutes, and just ended up putting it back in. So yeah, once those guys turn their backs, I'm just going to dip on through here. Just keep going. As long as you keep this timing, you won't be spotted. We're going to hop down here, and then uh, we got to kind of tiptoe, got to tread lightly because there's a lot of guards here. Right, as soon as he turns his back, just go. And then hide here. Wait for this guy. Uh, you gotta he's tricky, because he's gonna he's gonna check his clear his corners here. He's gonna turn and, yeah, he's gonna head back that way. He can still see him in his peripheral, so you have to wait till he's actually walking away. Mm. There you go. Yeah, just gotta keep letting him turn the backs there. You wanna just go as quick as you can. This is the trickiest part, but if you get the timing down, it's actually a, it's a straight shot to the exit. We just gotta wait here for a little bit for our guard to come clear this corner. Then we're just gonna take it off straight for that door. Alright, so once this guy turns here, I'm just gonna dip out. Always use the cover though. And from here you can just go. Boom. And just keep sneaking past this guy. And then we're off to the next area. Once you get here you're fine. This guy over here isn't gonna notice you. So just head on up to the next spot. Yeah, like I said, I got other games I need. I, I still have to work on Resident Evil 6. And, uh, 
the new Devil May Cry is coming out in a month, so I got the itch to start playing that again, so I just bought the HD collection. The only one of those three I've actually played is the first one. I never played two or three. I played the first one and four. Didn't really much care for four, so maybe I'll go ahead and do a video of me playing those games because when I get to well I haven't played one in so long I practically don't remember it and then when I get to two and three it's going to be a total blind run so that'll be fun to see so once you hear the gunfire and you get about to that first bench there you can take off running you want to keep moving to avoid being spotted until you get to about right here Once you get here, you gotta hang back for a second. There's a guard straight ahead. You gotta wait for him to turn his back. And there's another guard patrolling. You gotta wait till that walk by before you move from this spot. You gotta go, like, fast. And when you get over here, just chill. Wait for this guy to walk back. Once he gets there, just go. And yeah, just keep moving here. Until you get to the, these wood barrels up here. This doesn't make then sense. it's a waiting game. I mean, just give us the drop because uh, we have to wait for the perfect moment to be able to sneak past all these guards. And there's a lot of them over here. The evidence is to the right. Um, but uh, yeah, good luck getting that. So, um, yeah, we're just going to sit here. For a minute, and we're gonna wait for uh, these guards in the back to circle around, and these guys that are directly in front of me to circle around, and then we're gonna take off. All right. So once these two guys walk past, we're gonna go. And then the exit is right b back there. We have to stop for cover to avoid being spotted. But uh, yeah, it's a beeline right up here. So, alright, I'll see you guys for part two.